You know something, ladies and gentlemen, with the amount of time that I have been a YouTuber, I don't think in such a short period of time I've made so many videos on one single topic as much as I have with Niantic and Pokemon Go. Hell, I think this coverage beats my Activision Blizzard coverage, and that was an utter shit show with all the details that we had to talk about. But... Ladies and gentlemen, you guys can see we have rural and disabled Pokemon Go players band together amid boycott. Pokemon Go fans slam Niantic for buggy campfire rollout. Pokemon Go removes Regilecki timed research ahead of Elite Raid debut. Pokemon Go players boycott a Mystic Hero event after remote raid pass changes. Ladies and gentlemen... It just keeps getting deeper. The rabbit hole is absolutely unbelievable. I think we're at the point now where we're rivaling the Hollow Earth from the MonsterVerse. Like, it is that insane. I don't know, genuinely speaking, if Niantic is either just really incredibly that dumb, or if they have a secret fetish for punishment, because with all of the coverage that not just I've done, but all of the coverage that Dexerto has done, all of the coverage that several other outlets and YouTubers have done, I don't know if Niantic really just truly can't register all of what's going on, or if they have a secret kink for punishment and backlash. Like, I don't know. I'll leave the speculation up to you guys in the comments down below. Now, another reason for this video, ladies and gentlemen, is because I actually had this video made by Count Jinsula brought to my attention from one of you amazing people in the Crasher community, and the video is titled, Lamest Pokemon Go Event Ever, plus John Hankey Wanted Remote Raid Pass Nerf, Hear Us Niantic. Now, in this video, Count goes through some really, really interesting things here that we really got a showcase and we got to spotlight and talk about and spread around because we are well past the point of ridiculousness. Now, something that I recently discovered that I found interesting was that Niantic seems to have a complete disconnect with their CEO, John Hankey, when it comes to remote raids. And maybe this is why we are going through all of this in the first place. It could all be because of John Hankey. The content creator Fit City pointed out on Reddit that there was a conversation that was happening between a Niantic employee and a couple of other people where they talked about how John Hankey he wanted to get remote raids completely removed from Pokemon Go. And, of course, there was a lot of internal pushback from Niantic employees. So it seems like our speculation was on the money when I had mentioned in an earlier video that perhaps everybody at Niantic isn't exactly on board with these recent decisions, and as it would turn out, that further is proven to be correct. And it's going to be really interesting to see how John Hankey further responds to all of the pushback that he's getting from his employees. Is he going to actually listen to them? Because it seems like that even they are on the Pokemon Go community side. Or is he going to throw a hissy fit, throw a temper tantrum, if you will, because he's the CEO, he is the owner of everything, and he'll just end up dumping anyone that oh so dares disagree with him. Trying to get remote raids to stay. I'm wondering if this disconnect is why they are nerfing remote raids in the first place. This could very well be a decision from John Hankey. Of course, we have no confirmation of that, but it is a very strong possibility. Of course, John Hankey is infamous for being so focused on AR gameplay and in-person gameplay that it would make sense that he would not be happy with remote raids. And that's just it, you know what I'm saying? It's nearly seven years since Pokemon Go has been an active thing, and even to this very day, the fact that John Hankey still doesn't care about the audience, still doesn't take into consideration that without the players, Pokemon Go wouldn't ever be the success that it is, but rather he is instead not only using all of you players for his gain, seeing how all he cares about is gain, such as with profits, such as with data collections and things like that, He's got to realize that this right here isn't just a, another tool to collect data. This is a game that has been pretty much a big thing because of the Pokemon Go community. While the creation of the game may have came from Niantic and by proxy John Hankey, he's got to understand that that creation would not be the success that it is without the Pokemon Go player base. So you could say that 
This game has been a made game from the player base. And John Hankey is pretty damn infamous when it comes to who he is and his almost complete disregard for any type of criticism or any type of dissenting opinions. It's basically his way or no way. And it seems like that despite the pushback against John Hankey wanting to completely 86 remote raids, they decided to come up with, I guess, like a temporary type of uh, compromise, if you will, where instead of completely getting rid of remote raids, they decided to nerf them by increasing their price to nearly double from what they once were and limiting the usage to five raid passes a day. And even with that compromise, that is still really, really telling that even the employees at Niantic we're not on board with getting rid of remote raid passes. So again, it's actually really good to know that there are Niantic employees that are on the side of the Pokemon Go community. And it just honestly makes me feel even more bad for them because there are those out there that don't like these type of decisions, but they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, so they have no other choice but to go along with these decisions despite their absolute absolute disdain for those decisions. And, you know, it's also really sad as well that because they are Niantic employees, they have a bullseye painted on their chest, you know? And it's just, it sucks. Like, they are stuck, like I said, between a rock and a hard place. Now, of course, in me saying all that, this right here is in no way, shape, and form me changing my stance against these horrible decisions because, objectively speaking, they are horrible decisions. And, objectively speaking, there's a lot of people rightfully pissed about it including myself, someone that doesn't even play the game, but seeing the amount of players being so affected and so screwed over by these changes and seemingly being ignored, that is one of the driving points behind my fury with this decision and why I'm making these videos just one after another after another, you know? I'll be honest with you, I don't have a big platform, but I have a, I guess you could say a big enough platform where there are going to be some people that listen to what I have to say, and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to hear out what I have to say, and in return, you know, I want to at least help be a voice for the voiceless, those that can't speak up or have a platform to do so. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it here for this video, but there is a lot of other things to talk about, and that is going to be coming in future installments here. We ain't out in the woods yet, folks, and it looks like we ain't going to be out there anytime soon, you know what I'm saying? So... With that said, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you as well for taking time out of your day to view and share my content. I really, truly appreciate it, guys. Like, you have no freaking idea how much I really appreciate you guys giving me the chance to be heard out, giving me the chance to be a voice for you to listen to and to learn th from. You know what I'm saying? With that said, guys, thank you again for watching. Thank you for your time as well. Have yourself a damn good one, folks. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you guys next time.